Hey, what's up? Glad to see you guys back here on Tech for Tomorrow. Elric Ferris here, and today we've got something pretty unique and cool for you guys to take a look at. We've got the unboxing, first look, and performance review of the latest Intel 330 series 120 gigabyte SSD. Now, some really cool things going on right now. Right at this moment, this drive is on sale over at Amazon for $123. That's right, $123 freaking dollars for a 120 gigabyte SSD, basically bring it to a dollar a gigabyte, which is very, very fair. This is the same price that we saw when standard hard drive prices were going good. So that said, let's jump in, let's do the unboxing, let's check it out, and then let's see the performance of the drive, and then see later if it's worth your money as the consumer. <laughs> So here we go, folks. Here's the drive. First, we have the outside of the box, the front. Here we show the back of the box where it shows the drive and what the drive contains. It says this box contains the drive, the installation kit, and that's really it. Here's the nomenclature. If anybody wants to look this up online, here's the reference numbers that you will need for that. We'll go ahead and take it over here and we shall pop it out. cardboard box a little attention thing right there all cardboarded in pop the cap here we have the drive itself as you can see it's in a completely sealed bag with an actual serial number on it now something different there underneath it we have the speed demon sticker and the camera will take the camera and go look up at the wall you guys can see I actually have one of these stickers on my wall from my last drive that's right I like these Intel drives that are always fast. Pretty cool stuff. Now we'll get back over here to the unboxing. So we got the sticker, the drive, quick start guide. Shows you all the different stuff that comes inside of it. Let me take this out here. All right. So this drive can either be used as a laptop replacement kit or a desktop replacement, doesn't matter. You can use it either one. It's supposed to have 500 read, 450 write, We'll see that when we actually look the drive up, but that's the rumored specs of how fast it goes. There's that and that. How to do it in your desktop, how to do it in your laptop. Pretty cool stuff. Got drivers. Also has the installation guide on this as well. I'll go ahead and rip the seal on this. We'll pull the little mini disc out. Got all that. Now this thing comes with a really cool three-year warranty supposed to work for a solid three years. Intel's been listening. Let me get all the rest of this out of here. We got the rest of the kit in here. Little box is kind of stuck in there. Here's your bracket. This is where you can stick your drive on here and then put it inside of your standard bay. We've got the SATA connector, the power connector, the screws connect the SSD to this, and then finally the screws to mount this into your system. So that's all this stuff. Now let's actually open the SSD drive. You see it's a brand new virgin drive. I'm going to go ahead and make the rip right here, open it up, breaking the seal. One more here. Get it out. Nice little package of silicon there. If you're a kitty, don't eat this stuff. It'll kill you. Now, check out this drive. Looks really trippy on the bottom over here. Looks like it's already like been in like an industrial type car or something. You can see the four mounting holes. Here we see the SATA connector. Here is the power connector. Flip it around let you guys see the top of the drive. Intel SSD 330 series, 120 gigabyte, 2.5 SSD. Still tripping out in the back of it though. Looks kind of whitewashed. I don't know if you guys can see that. And actually looks like it's been pulled in and out of a system repeatedly, which is kind of weird for a brand new product, but Hey, so this is all the stuff that comes in the box. So this is the unboxing part of the review. You guys can see the test station over here to my right. We've used this test station in many different things. I'm going to be using the Marvell controller. I'm gonna take it and hook it up into here and then hook this drive up and run some tests and I'll get right back to you guys in a few minutes. Okay guys, so I've actually installed and I've hooked up the drive to the system right here. We are using the controller that is on the ASUS motherboard. That is their own ASMedia chipset. Runs pretty fast. 
I've got my new volume. I called it volume X for the testing. And now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to run Atto. All right, everybody. So now we're going to run Atto. We'll let you guys actually see it run. And this will be some of the first performance of the drive. The runs always start off slower and they build until you get your final result at the end. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this test, it's the Atto disk benchmark. Works very good for SSD drives. The drive has said to have 50. That depends also on which controller that you're using. We'll see how this one pans out at the end. You can see it's building and building and building. Wish there was more something exciting here to do. I could sing you guys a lullaby. Sleep, oh sleepy sleep. Or we could play the benchmark song. And just rock your socks off. But we thought we'd give you guys actually a live demonstration of the test since we know a lot of people under then. You guys don't seem to mind a little bit of a lengthy video, so instead of just actually, you know, putting the results out there, which we could, but we actually show you guys the test. Something a little different. I'm sure you guys will leave in your comments section saying, hey, we love that, do it again, or oh, we hate you, we want you to die. You guys are lovely about that stuff. Oh, absolutely lovely. Especially those troll comments. Oh, God, gotta love those, right? Only a few more instances to run here, folks. I got the drive right here in my hand over here, too. Actually, run the whole time. No heat. There's actually no heat. SSD, no noise. Just to let you folks know, two different controllers show different results. I'm just using the one that's on the motherboard that I'm using today, which is an As Media chipset. You guys can see on our scores, I got a little bit over 400 on read a little bit over 360 on write. That's using this particular chipset. Other tests may vary. So hey, there you guys go. We showed you the unboxing, talked about a little bit about the specifications of the drive, showed you guys performance in live on Addo. I'm using the Rampage 4 Extreme motherboard behind me and it's as media chipset. Now, other chipsets may make different results. If you try a Marvel one or you try an Intel, one of the newer ones, your results will vary. I'm sure when Intel tested it, they tested it out with one of their boards with one of their chipsets. This is the results on this one. They're going to vary. But obviously, you guys can see, even on that, it's a very fast drive. Intel's known for their reliability. That's what this is about. The 330 series is an entry-level drive, and it's on sale at Amazon right now for $123. So check out the link below. Peace out, and we'll see you here later on Tech of Tomorrow. Uh...